Hi, I'm Brett from Downward Trend. Today, we're gonna to talk about how you know it's time to replace your closing loop. So we're gonna have a look at a couple of examples. One of a closing loop that's wearing and could require replacement shortly. And we'll have a look at a good closing loop as well. And then I'll also demonstrate how you construct and install a closing loop into your harness container. Here we have a closing loop that's showing wear. We can clearly see the broken strands in and around the edge of the grommet here underneath the pin. Most of this wear is caused by the pin being extracted during deployment or from the pull-up cord being removed from the closing loop after packing. This closing loop isn't excessively worn, but it's certainly at a point where you would start to consider replacing the loop. You can see wear around the inside of the loop here and also the broken strands around the top here. When you ask the question, is my loop looking worn? It's probably time to replace your closing loop. Here we have a closing loop that's done only a few jumps, but you can see that it's in good condition. There's no frayed strands around the top. The inside of the loop is not showing any excessive wear. And the loop itself looks in good condition. Here we have a closing loop that's been pre-made. We have thin washers. We've got two of those, or we've got a thick washer. Always install a washer onto the closing loop. Never install a closing loop into your harness container without having a washer on it. Otherwise, the closing loop knot can pull through the grommet in the closing loop retainer. The washer that I'm using here is a heavy duty washer. You'll see that it's fairly thick, at least one to two millimeters thick. If you're not able to get a washer as heavy as this, then I recommend you use two Machine washers, you can get them from the hardware store, or you can get them from Bunnings or anywhere like that. But use two of them, just to give you a little bit of strength. Use the original closing loop as a guide for the correct length. If the closing loop you were using previously held the container closed nicely and in shape. What we want to do is we want to install the washer onto the closing loop. So inserting it from the end, slide the washer up. Then what we want to do is we want to install a knot here at a similar length to the original. All we need to do is a simple overhand knot, pull gently, then make a comparison. We will want to make the new loop about five millimeters shorter from the apex to the new loop. The old loop should be five millimeters longer, so the knot should end up in a similar location. So just pull your knot snugly, and we should end up with a loop of a similar length. Once we have the knot tied, slide the washer down to the end, and tighten the knot. Once we have the loop at the correct length, the knot in the correct place and the washer onto the closing loop, the excess we can trim off. If you want to leave about 50 or 60 millimeters of excess, just trim away the end. Then we can take the closing loop and install it into the container, into the loop retainer, feeding it through the grommet in the retainer each container manufacturer has their own system for loop retainers some are in the flaps some are in the base of the container once the loops in place then test pack the system to make sure that it closes up securely and if the loop is not the correct length Adjust the loop by releasing the knot and sliding it and tightening the knot again. Once you've done that, 
and the correct length is achieved. Install it back into the system and pack your rig. All right, guys, so that's pretty simple. The answer to the question, when do I replace my closing loop? When you're asking the question of yourself, should I be replacing my closing loop? And as you can see there, replacing the closing loop is fairly simple. It's not a hard or technical job. Uh, if you need closing loops to be manufactured, you can contact the manufacturer or your local rigger, and they should be able to supply um, pre-manufactured closing loops for you. All right, have a great day. If you have any questions, reach out, and uh, we look forward to speaking to you again soon.